In this tutorial, I'll show you how to create a spin transition in Adobe After Effects. Super easy and without any plugins, so let's get to it. As you guys can see, I've got two simple videos on the timeline. Let's go ahead and make the transition. The first thing you want to do is go to Layer, New Adjustment Layer. Then let's trim the adjustment layer down to 30 frames in length. Let's go to the point of the cut and move 15 frames to the left. Then bring the adjustment layer's start point and align it with the playhead. After that, move back to the cut point again and move 15 frames to the right this time. And bring the end point of the adjustment layer aligning it with the playhead. Now we've made the adjustment layer 30 frames in length and we can start applying effects. Go to the effects and presets window. And first effect is motion tile. Search for it, add it to the adjustment layer. Then search for transform. Also add it to the adjustment layer. Then search for Gaussian blur. Also add it. And the last effect will be optics compensation. Search for it, add it to the adjustment layer. We've got quite a few effects that we need to go through one by one. Go to the beginning of the adjustment layer, then scroll up in effect controls to the motion tile. Set output width to 120 and output height to 200. Also check mirror edges and we'll come back to this effect in just a bit. Then for the transform, you'll need rotation. So create a keyframe by clicking the stopwatch at zero degrees at the beginning of the adjustment layer. Then go all the way to the end of the adjustment layer and set rotation to be 1, 1 full cycle or 360 degrees. Then press U to see the keyframes and that's what we get. So now if we turn off the motion tile you can see the blank spots, blank space that we don't want to see. And that's where the motion tile comes in handy. And if we are careful here you'll see that there is still one spot that shows through. Like a tiny one, so that means we need to increase the output height to something like 220 maybe and that will be gone. So play around with it and make sure that no blank spots are showing through the video. After that, make sure that you uncheck the use composition shutter angle and set the shutter angle manually yourself. To, so the higher value you set it, the more motion blur you'll get as you can see like a nice radial motion blur. I'll set mine to 180, that's like a halfway, the maximum you can set is 360. But that would be too much for this. Anyway, you can play around with it and see what you like. And now we're going to scroll down to the Gaussian Blur. Go to the beginning of the adjustment layer. Create a keyframe for blurriness at zero. Then go to the point of the cut between the videos. And set blurriness to like 20 to nicely soften the, the transition. And go to the end of the adjustment layer and set it back to zero. Now we're going to do the same thing with the optics compensation. Let's go to the beginning of the adjustment layer. Create a keyframe for field of view at zero. Make sure that reversed lens distortion is checked. Then let's go to the point of the cut. Set field of view to 100 to nicely, you can see it nicely distorts the image. Then go to the end of the adjustment layer and set it back to zero. After that, press U key on the keyboard a couple of times until you see all the keyframes on the timeline. Then drag and select them all and press F9 on the keyboard to easy use them. Then go to the graph editor while all the keyframes are selected. And if your graph looks different, right click and make sure you're in edit speed graph. Then click somewhere here to deselect everything and select the transforms rotation only. You'll see the graph and select the first point and drag its handle to the, to the right until the influence is about 75%. And do the same with the other one. Just drag its handle to the left this time until the influence is at 75%. To create a nice peak in the, in the center, in the middle. Let's exit the graph editor and preview the, the transition. That already looks great, but we can make it even better by selecting the adjustment layer and pressing Ctrl D to duplicate it. Then select the duplicated adjustment layer, go to effect control, select all effects by pressing Ctrl A and then press delete to remove them. Go to the effects and presets window, search for motion tile once again, add it to the second adjustment layer then search for tint Add it to the second adjustment layer and then we need emboss. Search for emboss and also add it to the adjustment layer above. Here all you need to do for the motion tile is to check mirror edges. Then for the tint, set map black to a red color. Then map white to a light blue color like this. Then we're going to go to the beginning of the adjustment layer and for the emboss, create a keyframe for relief at zero. Then go to the point of the cut. Set relief to 20. We don't see anything, but we'll fix it in just a bit. Then go to the end of the adjustment layer and set relief back to 0. Then press U to see the keyframes. Drag and select them all and press F9 to easy ease them as well. And now we need to change the mode of this adjustment layer. If you don't see the modes, colon, click on toggle switches and modes right here. 
until you see that and click the modes drop down for the second adjustment and set it to hard light and as you can see that adds a nice rgb split effect on top of the transition that really complements it and the transition is ready let's go ahead and preview it i think it turned out pretty cool of a transition let me know what you think in the comments i hope you like this quick tutorial and learned something new if you did do not forget to leave a like thank you for watching and i'll see you in the next one peace out